Guys, Red Alert 2 World Series action coming at ya. We got Yuri's Revenge. We got the Pro Division. We're here on the Montana map. We got Mystic Marsh in yellow bottom left playing Allied. He's an Allied main, strong Allied player, facing off against Sword in red playing Soviet. Sword out of China, strong Chinese player, traditional player, uh, likes the Soviets, likes the Rhino, the run and gun style. Mystic Marsh, of course, mixing things up with Allied, looking to get a little weird for us. Uh, again, it is Yuri's Revenge. Um, I'm, I'm mixing myself up with the Blitz, the Red Alert 2, the Yuri's Revenge. Ed, what do you think? If you had to put some money, you said you you do know him, right? As Kovarvar, he used to play under a different yeah. name. So you have seen him before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've played against him in Quick Match, actually, uh, plenty of times in Yuri Quick Match. Uh, I didn't recognize him when I was playing in Blitz. Brand new player, two Blitz to me, uh, going by Sword or whatever. But Cobra Bear, I know for sure. Uh, so this is going to be a good game. He's a really good player. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, he's, oh, that's right, oh, no, that's right, yeah, Sword actually plays a lot of allied as well, I forgot, Sword's actually an allied main, man, good thing we got Guy in the chat, man, every single thing I say, Guy, like, corrects me, I'm like, we wouldn't get anything done with the Chinese community if it wasn't for Guy working as the middleman, appreciate it, Guy, yeah, I forget, Sword is actually a strong allied player, these guys are picking their own factions, so maybe we'll see a little bit of a mix, I expect to see Marsh mostly as a uh, allied here, these are the brackets for you guys, so the winner of this goes on to play Latop, winner of that goes on to play Marco, uh, eventually making their way to the top, uh, Top uh, going for the crown there in the pro division uh, for Yuri's Revenge. Of course, we got Riddler 2 and Blitz. So we have three different pro divisions this month. I'm almost surely going to uh, kill myself from stress and anxiety, but I think we're gonna get some good games out of it. Um, so Marsh, we'll only see Allied from Marsh, right? We won't we won't be seeing Yuri or, or Soviet from him. You think, Ed? Uh, well, is Yuri allowed? Yeah, Yuri is allowed. Okay, well, from my understanding, Cobra Bear plays good Yuri as well. I, ah, I don't maybe. think we'll see Yuri from Marsh. Marsh can transition to Soviet, though. So if there's a Yuri from Cobra Bear, I feel like Marsh will go into uh, Soviets because allies yeah. are pretty good against Yuri. Yep, allied versus allied versus Yuri always tough. So likely going to see a lot of allied from Marsh unless, uh, yeah, unless we see Sword go Yuri. Um, uh, oh yeah, oh guy saying not Yuri. Yeah, I was thinking, I thought he was a Yuri. Anyway. I said no, uh, I, I remember him playing Yuri though. Uh, I, thought, I could be remembering wrong, <laughs> I'm an old fart. We're all over the place. We need Doof stats, man. Doofus has all the stats for all the players. I wish we had all the stats of all the show matches, all the tournament games. We could pull them up. We'd be like, we'd be like NFL commentators. We could be like, and this is the first time on the second week of January that we've ever had these two players with more than 100 okay. conscripts. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Uh, Rick might be onto something. Did... Did, okay, see, okay, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Gaoki, which is one of the best Yuri players in the game, possibly better than Andy, uh, yeah, you're thinking and anybody of else yeah. that you can think of as Yuri, as Yuri, right? Uh, so he used to play on that nickname. That's the that's the problem. The Chinese community names are very different, um, and they share names. Okay, Paradrop, ooh, not able to get anything done there. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Marsh with this double para drop now for Ally does have the attack airport as well. Yeah, that's what creates some confusion. Like I said, there's been a couple Cobra Burrs, but you might have, you might know, he's been the more recent one. Anyway, who knows? Sword's a good top level player, we think, maybe not. We're going to make our opinions <laughs> right here, right now. Die. We have no idea what's going on. Hopefully going to be a good game. So, who is this guy? Yeah, <laughs> well, looking pretty, <laughs> look, so far looking pretty even though, huh? Yeah, looking good so far. Uh, both of them uh, building up. Two war factories for Marsh right now, which is uh, he's trying to keep up with uh, Sword right now. He has on two war factories. You never want to fall behind uh, against Rhinos, that's for sure. Uh, and I feel like on Yuri's, it's whoa, 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 whoa. huge engagement first of all. Yep, yep, big engagement. And Marsh gets in and takes out that fodder. Nice move, but then does get his tanks a little bit trapped there. And the Rockies don't come in. The para drops late. Uh, wasn't enough, so not going to get a massive counter punch out of it, but a little bit missed unit yeah. control those rockies could have got in a little bit earlier once he took out the flag track now going into a flag track not ideal Ooh, so not yeah not uh not the kind of top level unit control you expect to see from marsh there um but uh but you know holds the position yeah that was, that was actually pretty nice from marsh in the beginning of it uh he did go in there sacrifice a couple of grizzlies just so that he can get that flag track uh, or else he would have just com completely been ran over right there yeah he, so he kind of kept himself in the game to be honest by killing that flag track to begin with or else uh, Cobra Bear was just going to push in on him. Yeah, taking out the flak. I guess the, the dive on the flak was nice. I just felt like the Rockies came a little bit late, but that's the allied juggle, right? You got your, your GIs there somewhere. You got your tanks. You got your Rockies. Um, but yeah, certainly keeping himself in it. And uh, and obviously the time on Marsh's side right now. Marsh now loading up a Spy IFB. And Marsh with a lot of mirages on the field here. So uh, Sword's got to be thinking about tech, maybe a Deso Bomb. Uh, these mirages are going to get a little tricky for him as a, in a mid game, especially, oh, but he desolates. Oh, it totally counters the Spy. Yeah, I can definitely 
<clears throat> I think if anything, Sword's probably in a worse position because the best thing that Allied wants is to slow the game down. Like yep. They want to build up, they want to get their pack of Mirages, right? Five Mirages, they can get ran over. But you, you got ten Mirages, that makes yep. a whole lot of a difference, honestly. So right now, uh, Cobalt Bear is going to be, or Sword, I should be calling him Sword. Yep. Sword's going to be forced into making possibly an IC here. Yeah, it's a nuclear reactor. You're going to see an Iron Curtain right behind it. Mars going to look to push in before that Iron Curtain can come. Uh, he's got those flak tracks behind, so not the Rockies aren't going to get much value here, but that's a pretty good match in Mirages. I'm not sure if he has a Deso Bomb in this group or not. I don't think either of those flaks are loaded up. Hey, I, oh, did he lose the Spy to that Deso when you said that? Yeah, yeah, he did lose the Spy. Yeah. Okay. I thought he was still probably running around. Oh, huge. Ooh, oh, what a oh. misplay there by, by Mars. Uh, forced to run away with his Mirage tanks, and you do not want to be running away with Mirage tanks, especially when you got Rhinos right on your tail. Yep, and now and now starting to be a scary amount of Rhinos here. Marsh pulling back to defend. Uh, yeah, and so only one flag track in that group, but doesn't really have the Rockies anyway. Yeah, the yeah clicking down the army here. Marsh could be in trouble. Yeah, he, he pushed a little too far into that uh, sentry gun, and. Um, or <laughs> he didn't think twice he took advantage of it immediately and it's just one of those little blunders honestly like the game's going so fine it's 50 50 you know everybody's doing but one mistake and if the opponent takes advantage of it this happens within 10 seconds boom yeah. game over it's about pushing into those mistakes that makes the difference sometimes there and, and yeah it's definitely you know with lower level players when they ask about like why aren't when they talk about different unit values in like apox for example uh the driving and shooting dri or shooting while driving it you know simultaneously is so big and it's so you see a lot of newer players who get their mirages and they don't really know what to do with them i mean if you don't direct those things those things need to be like micro microed because uh mm. they don't shoot while they're moving man and while they're running away just get blown through um, but yeah, unfortunate one for Marsh, but very, very close. So first one to Sword here. We are going to see the same factions. Um, I like this map. What do you think about this map, Ed? Uh, I haven't played it too much, to be completely honest with you. It's one of those Yuri's maps that is not on Red Alert 2. So, and I haven't played Yuri's uh, uh, ladder for a couple months. So, But I've seen it. I've seen it in action, honestly. Uh, it seems like it's been producing some pretty good games. So uh, I can't say anything bad about it, honestly. It looks good, and it's given some really nice games i just haven't experienced it too much myself yeah i like the uh uh i like the uh, i like the corner text the starting with the power of the oil kind of like you know i like the kind of spread out um the openings right away kind of get you in different spots and give you some different looks you know you can open different ways and put pressure on the corners it's, it's fun i think yeah. it creates some early 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 action this definitely favors the the allies. Only, uh, well, it helps the allies tremendously, right? Because one of the biggest weaknesses from allies early on is obviously like the power plant, right? We talked about the build speed as well. Is this on power? Plant yeah, buff? this. Yep. Yes, yeah, so the Yuri. Uh, this. Yeah, quick match this month does have that power plant buffs. So power plant building slightly faster. Okay. So, so just on top of that, right? You get the you get your buildings out at the same time as Soviets, but in addition to that, you ha also have that tech power plant. You're not going to have to waste uh, on making another power plant just so that you can get like a battle lab. If he wanted to go battle lab right now, he wouldn't go low power. But if he didn't have that tech power plant, he'd have to force himself to get another power plant. And just as it is, he makes another ba battle lab, or he makes a battle lab. Ah, goes right into battle lab. Yes, yeah, so there's so many little things to consider at the top level like that. Now, so, uh, okay, so the, the allied power plant gives more power. It costs more money. Um, do the war factories and refineries do they cost the same and pull the same amount of and uh, pull the same amount of power? I believe so. Yes. Uh, so, me, so your power plants are different, but the buildings, you're, the primary buildings you're building are, are yeah, it's interesting. So many little nuanced things like that. Um, the service depot out now for sword. Carriers now. Yeah, for three more. war factories for sword, which is pretty freaking uh, scary right now. You know that that just means you're gonna have to deal with a bunch of rhinos in your face pretty soon. Uh, he does try to spy, spy with the polar bear <laughs> in an IFV. If you're going to be sneaky with the polar bear, because they're super slow. I mean, regardless, spy slow, you know, but probably just walk the polar bear. You don't have to put him in an IFV. I think the polar bear flex. That's like, it's like, not only am I trying to spy you, I'm going to spy you with a polar bear. It's a flex. Yeah. Then again, though, there's no actual infantry out for uh, sword, so he can't really, like, Oh, that's uh, true. <laughs> Camouflage. The, the polar bear or the, or the civilian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so three, three war factories for sword. 
uh, and 10k in the bank. Marsh also now coming on 10k. Marsh on Battle Lab Tech, so a lot of Rhinos, but certainly going to be a lot of Mirages. Now Sword bringing out the Radar, as you'd expect here. Uh, radar coming, going to need to get some Death Slayers involved as these Mirages start hitting kind of critical mass. But ah, three War Factories, the Rhinos... Yeah, he's good. good, good. Yeah, it's one of those things, man. A good Deso Bomb right now could swing things. But Marsh going to bring out a BF. Try to maybe counter those uh, yeah. Desolators a bit. That's going to be really nice. Uh, the BF is going to be loaded with GGI, uh, GGI's. So they're not the strongest against infantry, but these will melt down those rhinos, that's for sure. Oh, I so thought... if he wants to counter some Desos, maybe he needs to put a, a seal in yeah, one of these the... BFs, have a seal, and maybe mix it up with some GGI's or whatever. That way they can still counter the tank. Uh, uh, that's, that's usually the goal for the Desos. That's what I was thinking. That's what I kind of expected. Oh, here's the Navy seal. So the Navy seal and the BF. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking the BFs would be for to kind of back these Mirages and, and help protect from the Desolators. Um, and both, this is like quite the, uh, both players just staring at each other from across the river. <laughs> staring yeah. each other down, loading up their guns. That's, now he's got two, I think two flax fully juiced now. I like, I like Marsh's odds here only because he took the initiative of pushing forward a little bit. And the, the thing that BFs thrive on is having them being chased right so if he's pushing forward with these battle fortresses then obviously it's a good point if you are at your base with those battle fortresses uh, you're in for a bad time because you can't run away yeah. from your base you know what yeah. i mean so being offensive with those are, is really nice that way you can run away and still be shooting those rhinos that's how they do most of their damage running away yeah i like that i like that yeah so by by expanding by posturing up a little bit and getting a little bit of map control you ultimately are giving yourself more room on the battlefield when the engagement comes uh obviously the bs they're like mustangs man wild mustangs they need room to run <laughs> very slowly run <laughs> yeah very slowly <laughs> very slowly like gallop point, across point the battlefield two of a horsepower yeah, yeah. Ooh, sends those sends those rockies in it melts that tesla Okay, now in running with the BFs, the Mirage is getting a lot of damage done, but the Desolators are out. Oh, are gonna take all care the Mirages are done. And so, basically... Oh, oh, the backside! The oh, yeah, just... Tanya! Tanya on the backside! Oh, oh, oh my god! Going straight for the lab, And too. the wow. Battle Lab, and the BFs, wow! And just when you think, just when you're thinking, Ivor, why is he called Mystic Marsh? I see him with BFs and Mirages. I've seen this a thousand times. <laughs> Boom. It's a red herring. He's shaking his left hand. He punches you in the gut with his right hand. It was all a distraction. Um, yeah. Oh, man. He jukes us all. That Tanya came out of nowhere. Pretty sure. Three now. Uh, yeah, and not really much lag. I mean, I'm sure the players that are... I'm sure the the, lose, the losing player at each point would probably say there's some lag, but uh, ultimately not, not too bad a lag here. Uh, so, yeah, it, the games have been smooth. So this map, wow, this is an interesting one. Both players start on the right side here. Bridges are destroyed, cutting off the tech power plant. Pre-captured oils in the corners. What do we know, Ed? You know about this map? What do we know? Definitely know about this map. I pushed, or I tried so hard to push this into uh, Rudder 2 quick match. Um, had to convince Berg over and over. He's like, this is not a Rudder 2 map. I was like, this is the Rudder 2 map. We're going to make it into a Rudder 2 map. Because Poyle had made this into a Yuri map initially. Tech power plant, by the way right yeah so that's not in Rudder 2 so he's like this is not even a... i was like dude we'll just take that fucking unit that <laughs> building out and now it's a Rudder 2 we'll substitute it for something i was like oh can you do something about it he did it we're like all right what's your excuse now all right let's do it so we oh. got into Rudder 2 so it's and in Rudder 2 it's a brilliant map dude i love it interesting so in Rudder 2 there's no tech power plant what's there instead uh it is a service tech Air shop, oh, whatever, gotcha. or air defense shop. That one stupid unit, yeah. Yeah, interesting, it. interesting. Yeah, I like, I like it here. And so I like that Sword goes out and grabs that airport, even if he can't hold it or loses it. Uh, he denies the Allied player getting the double para drop, which of course in Yuri's Revenge can be so strong. Uh, yeah, it's interesting in the chat they're talking about, you know, it's talking about uh, Sword here being one of the top Allied players in in China right now. So it is interesting seeing him go Soviet. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe he prefers Soviet. He wants to practice his Soviet. Maybe he prefers Soviet versus Allied, or maybe he just cares about me and you, Ed, and he wants to give us sva <laughs> sva is always the most that's fun what it right is, man. that's what it is that that one clicks that one made the most sense to be honest yep yep i think that i think that's it that makes sense to me uh mephisto <laughs> with the uh, with the follow mephisto i think is another chinese player i think he's also in the tournament this month welcome to the stream buddy uh man shizzle uh first time we've seen re2 competitive thanks for hanging out 
Yeah, so uh, Red Alert 2 and in your Red Alert 2 online, there's a quick match where you go in and you play players each month and you get rankings. Um, so that's called quick match. And in quick match, there's a large map pool. How many maps, Ed? Do you know off the top of your head? Nope. A lot top of maps. Of yeah, a lot of maps. A lot of maps. And so the, this is a tournament we're running this month, uh, the Red Alert 2 World Series, and we're using all those maps. So quite a few maps, but at this point, the players that are playing competitive are pretty ride or die. So uh, they know them all because they're hardcore players. If you're, if For you're, sure. <laughs> On Red Alert 2, just to give you a, a kind of more or less uh, uh, number, uh, on Red Alert 2, there's like 52 maps. I believe Yuri is around a little bit less than that, so okay, maybe so 40, I want to say. Yeah, 50-40, yeah, so quite a few maps to know. But yeah, like I said, I mean, the players, it's one of those games, man, if you're still around now 20 years later, uh, yeah, you know the maps. You're pretty pretty hardcore if you're playing competitive at this level at this point. So Navy Seal, sneaky, sneaky, on the backside here from Marsh on that island. Of course, the Navy Seals can swim, so they can get a lot of, uh, can move pretty quick on this map. Marsh slowly edging in now. I like this build off the top left expansion, walking his base down, getting those Grizzlies to the front lines, pushing in now with the, the but again, this is going to be the same move again, Ed. This is yeah, a distraction. He's just, he's just distracting. That's all it is. It's just look at my left hand. Look at my left hand. Here yep. we go. Yep. Uppercut. Uppercut. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh MCD down. Oh. Warp my. Factory. Get soul. And, and the refinery. refinery. Are we going to see the GGs from some sword here? Does he go downfield and try to get lucky? Wow. Uh, he's moving some miners up, but I don't know if he's going to move them to get that or if he's going to move them to attack because. Honestly, he's on a time frame now, right? Yeah, like he's, he, needs yeah he's, to, he needs to make a move. He's got to go. Yeah, he's got to go. That's always unfortunate. I mean, it's just kind of part of this game, right? You get in positions where if you push, you're probably going to lose. If you sit back, you're definitely going to lose. So might as yep. well head off to the races. Uh, would be kind of sick if he would have gotten Engineer out of his MCV. And, oh, he would have needed two. I was like, maybe get Backdoor or something. Um, the bridge mechanics are so interesting because ultimately, like, early game, they cut it off. But then late game, you can open it up and go across. Um, yeah, I like this map. This is a cool format. Yeah, I, I've i done... Well, let's, I'm not going to get into my strats here too much because it looks like they're about to attack. Yeah. He has no time to just sit here and listen to me. Uh, he's going to go straight in here. Uh, yeah, he's definitely he's outnumbered. Severely uh, out, it's yeah. honestly one of those attacks where you just have to do it. I mean, you have to try it. Give yeah. me your best shot here. Yeah, it doesn't gonna matter uh, so, if Marsh... As Snark would say, if Marsh started control clicking the ground, he would still probably win. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah most likely. Yeah. So well played. I'm surprised to see. I'm surprised to see Sword not go full commit, bring the bring the miners with him. But yeah, whatever. I I, I like both sides, right? The whole Rambo. Hey, it's all go. You know, it's all war. And then you got Ruddler too, where it's multi ng uh, and no dog engineer kills or whatever. You know, and I like that too. I like both worlds. Uh, what can I say? Yeah, I think there's I think there's a place for both. So so Ed, you might not know this map more. Did the MCB move? Is that normal here? Both players moving yeah. their MCBs up to the gems. Ah, nice. Definitely normal. You want to get to the center yeah. uh, as quick as possible. Uh, for Marsh, he's most likely going to want to do like, like, I don't know, a Connie rush, if anything. Because as soon as that guy gets a uh, cannon down, he's not going to be able to do anything else. Uh, that's basically the goal right here. Just to race for that cannon while making sure you don't die. Once yeah. you get a cannon, what can the Soviet player do early on? So AFC is most likely going to go down next. And uh, Marsh, again, Connie's and Rush. Yep, and, and again, guys, see yeah, a sword here. Sword is playing France. We may see a grand cannon here. Um, yeah, both players banging out for the center. Certainly about to put on a show for us. Um, yeah, yeah, it is it is, uh, it is interesting. Um, allied power plant, yeah, allied power plant buff is on this month. So again, the allied power plants are building a little bit faster. And the GIs go all the way around those bunkers and sword Ooh. right in the gut of his base. The bunker's out. Does he melt the bunker? for the war factory. Oh, it goes right for the war factory. Now the power plant. Now the power. Oh, he it takes the bunker first. And now the cannon out. That's got to be it, right? I didn't right tell it? you, no. Well, if the bunkers didn't tell you that this is your revenge, I hope the GIs definitely confirm yeah. that, this is, <laughs> brother, that this is your revenge. Yep. And Marsh now forced to send it downfield with the militia, the farmers from the field. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to give us a barn burner here. Oh, this looks God smooth. Damn. All right, leg test, leg test. All right, guys, here we go. Barn burner action, match point. It is best of five. It all comes down to this. We've had a wacky series so far. Some Tanya, some Seals, all sorts of weird stuff. This is it, boys. This is it. So winner of this going on in the tournament, loser of this going home. Uh, quick reminder, this is all part of the January Red Alert 2 World Series action. $400 in prizes going out. We got Blitz, Red Alert 2, Yuri's Revenge, cash prizes, divisions for all skill levels. Best of all, we're doing it again next month. If you guys want to play, you should, even if you're brand new and you haven't played. 
Uh, you can download the game. You can get playing in like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and like I said, we do tournaments every month. We have Division 6, which is literally brand new players. You're saying, Ivor, I haven't played this game in 15 years. Doesn't matter. Division 6 is for you. There's a whole group of you guys. Come play. We're always looking for new players. Uh, join my Discord. You can get all that information at redalert2.com. If anyone asks you where they can get the information, redalert2.com. It's as simple as that. Uh, Ed, what do you think? I miss anything important there? I think I got it all. Nope, that was it. Perfect. <laughs> got it all. Nailed Damn, it. You got that. You got that down. <laughs> <laughs> got to go quick, man. TikTok culture. You got to move quick around here. All right. So <laughs> march back to Allied. He's playing America. Sword with Soviet again here. What do you think? From everything we've seen, Ed, gun to your head right now. If you're wrong, you die. Where are you putting your money? Uh, I'm going to have to say Marsh. He's been playing a little more comfortable when it comes to games like this, right? Sword won a face down match, and then he ended up winning... What, what are they game? Did he win? How do you win? Uh, did he? He won the first. Yeah, he won the first one, and then he won uh, with France, right? Those are his two wins. He won that first one. Went, remember Marsh pushed in with the Mirages? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, definitely Marsh then. Yeah, Marsh has been playing more comfortable this entire series. I feel yeah. like playing, uh, or Sword has been playing a little more stressed. And this this is a weird uh, build by him, by the way. On top left, he ended up putting his War Factory over there and built a Miner off of there. So... Weird expansion on that side does have a war factory by his MCV as well. So interesting strat. I've never seen this myself. So yeah, war factory off the corner. And you guys who don't know, we got pre-captured tech in both corners and an oil behind. So pretty stretched out again. Uh, bottom side again starts with the oil behind them and their corner. And sword is coming super aggressive here. Uh, does have a flag track, so the Rockies aren't going to get much done. Needs to be careful. They did get some ship damage, so he's got a smoking rhino in this group. Low body situations. One half a half life rhino uh, can swing things like this. And now. Oh, Harrier's out from Marsh. He'll start maybe trying to pick on those Rhinos a little bit or take out the flag track, then try to chip away at the Rockies, maybe. Oh, misses the flag track. Or half half hit the flag track, I guess. Yeah, one one of those Harriers ended up hitting it. He, is he going to take it back to repair? I don't know. Those three Rocketeers can definitely uh, knock it down if he doesn't micro it well enough. So now another flag track out. Yeah, and so, yeah, these uh, these little rock, paper, scissors games early on, ABS, the Rockies, the flag tracks, the Rhinos. It's always fun. It's difficult to appreciate the nuances and just little things uh, making differences, especially early on in these, I guess, in these low, low body situations, you know, losing one or two yeah. tanks. Look at this, by the way. Uh, Sword did not bite. Sword did not bite. And it's one of those uh, mind games, right? Uh, Marsh was pushing to the top left way before Sword started pushing to the bottom right. Look at this huge push on the bottom right. And it actually made Marsh come back. He said, whoa, 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 I need to go back. And yeah. now we look at Marsh and he ended up coming back. Sword did not fall for his mind games. He did not want to fall for that. He was going to take that trade if he wanted to. Yeah, interesting. A little bit of a, it's just like kind of like playing chicken with someone. You know, you're like, who's yeah, going to yeah, turn yeah. away That's first? Exactly, yeah. Playing chicken, yeah. Oh, and the Ooh, Navy SEAL. the SEAL almost goes in. This time he does catch it, though. And once again, I'm totally it. miss it. Navy SEAL again. And that's the only thing to notice here. So the couple of the wins, I mean, both these players right now, I think I'd probably, it's tricky because all four of these wins have been on, like, really decisive single moves, right? Both of Marsh's that's wins true. were a backdoor Navy SEAL, or Tanya. Um, you know, we had Sword with a win with, like, that Grand Cannon walk, GI Rush, and a win where, like, Marsh, I mean, we've had all four points have been pretty crazy matches so far. Uncontested Rockies top side. Uh, those Rockies are going to get some, oh, Flat Cannon out. Yeah, he's still going to get some damage done. He does get uh, an exposed refinery with no air defense there. He might be able to get the power plant as well. Uh, no, he's sing sending some flags back. And Ooh. The, if oh. you've ever built too many flags, this is it right here. <laughs> but yeah. they're paying off. Goddamn. Marsh not paying attention to those flags. He's looking at the bottom battle right here. Uh, Groovis yeah. against his rhinos. No fodder for Sword. Yeah, no. The Where is for Marsh really, really helping him and staying in here. But Sword's oh, trying to keep his distance. As you know, rhinos with distance, they have more advantage than the grizzlies, so he's trying to keep away from those rhinos, from those grizzlies. And now he's split on the top side, but he doesn't bring the split down to help him. He needs to help, he, needs to, he tries to go pick on some miners. Um, now he needs to pull all these rhinos back. He's gonna need to get a little defensive here. And you talked about that, the over committing to the flag tracks, and that's why the rock, paper, scissors game, right? Your opponent goes rock, yes, you have to go paper, but you can't go 10 paper. You go 10 paper, now <laughs> yeah. you've got scissors when he goes rock. That's, <laughs> that's funny, yeah, that's good. Too many flag tracks in this position, and uh, that's why he's being out tanked here. And that fodder as well, a bit surprising to see uh, Sword not having his more fodder in that group. Marsh still with a fodder advantage, though Sword now bringing the dogs in. Yeah, honestly, I want to say if Sword had some fodder within that uh, yeah. within that fight, 
I think things would have been a little bit more dangerous for Marsh, to be completely honest with you. But he had no fodder, and Marsh had a lot of dogs with him. So uh, right now, it looks like just a wash almost, like nothing really major happened there besides them exchanging some tanks here. Uh, three war factories for Sword and three war, four war factories now for Marsh actually. And Marsh is actually sitting comfortably on four war factories. He has 8k just about. Yeah, Marsh 8k. He could start pumping some more Rockies if he wants to, possibly go Battle Lab Tech. Talked about it before. It's all about that. There's a graph, you know, and actually Sneer put together a graph on Blitz, and it's like the win rate for Soviet versus Allied over time. And regardless of the game mode, obviously the longer it goes, the more, you know, Allied can get those advantages here. And especially with Marsh with 10K now in the bank, as Swords scraping the bottom of the barrel, almost bottoming himself out here, but a ton of fodder in this group. And now Marsh, yeah, gonna have to maybe try to play some defense here. Battle Lab out, so Marsh wants to slow things down. Of course, Sword wants to deny that, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, he's definitely, he definitely needs to slow things down. He needs to do something here. He's gonna be, uh, look, look at this push by sword it looks so yep. dangerous and i was mocking the flax but you know what uh oh. they actually have done so much work because it's really really preventing marsh from even making rocketeers right now and that's one of their biggest strengths right having those rocketeers out just being annoying and he's like nah nah like yep. i have these many flags you know and marsh is scared of it but oh huge yeah. push here all the fodder from uh sword going in and basically just dying yep and uh, and now uh, and Sword now a little bit on the run. Those Mirage is doing great, great unit control from Marsh there. Oof, gobbled up, gobbled up. Yeah, MCB that moved was, to the center. That was great patience there by Marsh. Honestly, he saw that uh, Sword was going straight at him. Normally, people don't like to push straight into that. Marsh is he's not even slowing down. He's just going straight ahead right now. Two elites in that uh, group and so many yeah. uncontested units. Of course, that middle MCB move. Uh, terrible timing on that. And this one's got to be going to Mystic Marsh. Very well played. Yeah, the patience is definitely the word there, Ed. Like, the way he, um, you know, he came in, he kind of baited back, went a little bit back, got that defensive advantage, got behind his buildings, let the fodder do some work, and then, and then sprung in, uh, made him pay definitely. for it. Yeah, well played. The games, kiddo. <laughs> a little flex, a little flex, little he says. Flex. A little bit of a flex there from Mystic Marsh. Marsh taking it home. Mystic Marsh.